Khaleesi in the middle there. I'll take Dragon Queen any day of the week for you. It's actually ingenious. I think we would be a dream team. Um, I have got dragons in mind doing my homework. You've got to be prepared for Theo. He comes out with his classic comments. Why would I spend my children's inheritance on that? I am the one and only emeritus dragon. You're going to have to look it out. It means the wise old dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah would be a prime candidate. Power socket. I think it's for when the electricians leave the stuff hanging out there. Are you Miss DIY now? <laughs> She's got experience in your electrical DIY trade. Hello, dragons. My name's Richard Brooke. I am here today looking for an investment of £100,000 for 30% share in my company, Sockets. Sockets is a safety shield. The safety shield is used during the refurbishment of occupied housing by the electrician during the electrical rewire. This creates a protective shield around the electrical installation, then allowing the electrician to leave the installation fully tested and in full use, allowing plasterers, your tilers, your painters, to carry out their works in full safety. At present, we sell 240,000 units per year within the UK. This gives me a turnover of £50,000. All the products and all the sales at the moment have been with zero advertising marketing um, campaigns. It's all been through myself um, pushing the products. I'm not a salesman, as you can tell from my pitch. Um, I need a dragon like yourselves on board to assist me in what I think is a fantastic patented product we can take to market and increase the sales to between two and five million per year based on the number of properties refurbished per year in the UK. Um, would anybody like some samples or like a closer look of the product before we go to questions? A plastic casing, which makes plug sockets safe while they're being worked around... I'm just showing you how this one's fitted now. ...is the proposition on offer from Yorkshire-based entrepreneur Richard Brook. The plasterer would unscrew the sockets, you'd get plaster, you'd get paint. Within, fitting the safety shield alleviated that problem. The 47-year-old is looking for a £100,000 investment... No pressure. Yes, no pressure. In return, he's willing to give away 30% of his business. Should I do it? So, <laughs> are you putting him off? This is probably the most stressful moment of his life. No, it's not. And you're making it ten times you're worse. You're standing there giving him the stress. So that's the principle of it. Super, well done. Now the demo's boxed off, can Richard spark some interest from the den's queen of DIY, Deborah Meaden? Thank you, Richard. So, actually, it's quite a simple product to understand. It's, it means that you can carry on using your electrical switches when they're... Property's been refurbished. Thank you very much. So, what do they sell for? Right, the retail price yeah. is 44 pence for the single, 48 pence for the double. Yeah. And the cost price? 10 and a half pence yeah. for the single and 12 and a half pence for the double. When did you start selling them? I started selling back in April 2009. And your sales to date are 240,000 to per, date? Per year, per year. 240,000 a year? Yes. OK. And has that grown at all since 2009? Yes, 10% a year, year on year. OK, so I don't know if you're aware, but I've actually got a business that sells electrical sockets that are completely flush to the wall. And what we have to do is work out who saves the time, who saves the money, because if it's the tiler that saves the time but the electrician that's got to buy the product, it's never going to sell. we found that it actually benefits the electricians. The feedback we've got is rather than doing two visits to site, they would do a rewire in the day, complete, energise, fit the shield, they never went back. OK, and you know I'm going to ask this, what type of plastic? It's high impact styrene. Right, so is that recyclable? Yes, recyclable. It's got the stamp on the back. OK. A positive start to Richard's pitch as Deborah Meaden draws out more detail about his plastic product. 
Now, Sarah Davies wants to know if her investment will be well spent. Richard, right. I'm going to assume that part of what you want the money for is to make a bigger impression tool to get that price down. With the investment from yourselves, I would like to a far impression tool so then we can meet the demand of two and a half million a year, which I would like to anticipate we could achieve easily. And to make that four impression tool, what's the quote you've got for that? That's £12,000. And what will that bring your unit cost down to? Nine pence for the double and eight pence for the single. And why would you just do a two and two? Why wouldn't you move to a six and six? The cost of a tool increases dramatically. But then your unit cost comes down dramatically. I think you need to think a little bit bigger. Yes. Richard, the bottom line is that you're asking for a £100,000 investment. Yes. And you're going to have to put more money in, so you definitely need an investor. But in terms of the opportunity, I think 100000 is really quite an ask at the moment. Out of that 50000 revenue, what was your net profit? It's been zero for the previous years because every penny I've made profit has gone back into the business. This wasn't my day job. This is something which was originally a hobby and now it's developed into a very good interest of mine because I like, you know, inventing things. Do you actually have a full-time job? I'm an estimator for one of the national um, repairs and maintenance companies. If I decide to give you £100,000 of my children's inheritance... Yes. Are you going to give up your job or are you going to carry on working? Well, at the end of April, I was made redundant by the company I work for. So, how everything's aligned, now I am full-time with this and from now onwards, we can take this product to the next level and I will give you 100%. So you'll be doing it full-time? I'll be doing it full-time, yes. What else have you been doing? I'm into my vintage um, race cars. Are you racing them? Yes. Midlife crisis by a beach. Oh, I race a Ford Anglia and a Zodiac. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. That's two midlife crises. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Some mid-pitch respite for the entrepreneur as Theopophetis discovers a common interest. But before these kindred car spirits drive off into the sunset together, Tej Lalvani wants to know if Richard has more spark about him when it comes to selling his own product. Can I understand what your margins are in terms of wholesale? So I know your retail price is 44p and your cost price is 10 to 12p, yeah. depending on the size. I sell to the electrical wholesalers at 24 pence for the single and 28 pence for the double disposable. So you've got about a 50% gross margin. Yes. And you've been growing at 10% a year, which is growth, but I would expect this to be a much higher growth. Why haven't you approached the construction industry distributors? I'll be, I'll be totally honest with you. Um, sales and marketing is not my expertise. Um, I haven't pushed the product and I haven't marketed the product, and I'll admit that that's my failure on my side. Look, it's a really good product. It works really well. You're selling already. You know, you're ticking all the boxes here. But uh, it just doesn't excite me as a, as a business. Money excites me, but I feel that you've got to sell millions of these units to get my investment back. And £100,000 is a big ask, I think. So if it was a smaller amount, I may have considered it, but on that basis, I'm going to say I'm out. Good luck. Tej Lalvani isn't convinced by Richard's projections and bows out of the deal. Does Sarah Davies see any promise in the product? You know what, Richard? Um, the product does excite me. Not that I do a lot of wiring plugs in my spare time, but the product, your enthusiasm for the product... However, I worry that you've bumbled along for 10 years. And the thing that's forced you to come here today isn't that you've just thought, yes, come on, I'm going to go for this, I've got the drive. It's the fact that you've been made redundant. This is forced to become your job, not that you think the opportunity's great enough and took that risk. And that's what's bothering me. 
I would hire you tomorrow. But this isn't an investment for me, and I'm out. Richard, to get 10% of a market, that's a challenge for you to do that. But in terms of the opportunity, I think it's a great business for you, and I'm sure you're going to take it further. And if you'd come in at less money, I think this might be a bit of a, a punt. But £100,000 is a big ask. Sadly, that's why I'm out. Peter Jones casts doubts over Richard's target growth and switches off his interest in the deal. Now Theo Pafitis is preparing to give his verdict. Richard, I'm all over the place with this. I think it's an ingenious product. I think it's amazing that you've put it together in your spare time. But you've come in for £100,000, and that is a lot of money. And £100,000 it is such a specialist product, the return on my investment might take a while. I think this is a sort of a, a product that is worth sharing with another dragon that's got experience in making these type of products. Got Khaleesi in the middle there. I'll take Dragon Queen any day of the week for you. Now, I don't know if that's something that she thinks it's worth considering. Well, if it wasn't £100,000, I would not have sat here so long and so quietly. And I also think that you would have a fantastic combination between Theo and I. So I would certainly be interested in sharing. Um, OK, now, the percentage. If I did 50,000, I would want 25%, or otherwise it's just not worth my investment. I think we would be a dream team. Um, so I would make you an offer, £50,000, for 25% of the business, but with a buyback, so I'll reduce my shareholding to 20% once we have our money out. You'd then go to 60% and we'd be at 40%. 60%. It's a big moment for the entrepreneur. A double dragon deal on offer from Theo Pafitis and Deborah Meaden. But they're asking initially for half of his company, 20% more than Richard was willing to give away. I'm confident with two dragons like yourself on board, we've got a great potential and a great team. Um, I think my energy enthusiasm will go get the sales if you tell me which direction to go in. So I have no doubt that I could pay back that investment within, you know, two years. So for that reason, I'm in. You're in. Yeah, Excellent. Yeah, well, that is Excellent. Fantastic. Excellent. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Oh, I can do that. Oh, thank you. There you thank go. You very much. And more to the point, we're back in business, Mr. P. A dream oh. team. There oh. we go. Oh. Thank you, Dragon. Excellent. Speak to you soon. There's no sign of winter coming anytime soon for Richard, who heads back to Dewsbury, having reunited Dragon Royalty, Theo Pafitis and Deborah Meaden, in the investment. Didn't expect that whatsoever. And to get two dragons is beyond my wildest dreams. Theo and Deborah, that is just absolutely fantastic. We're back. We're back. Do you know yeah. what? We've still got our first ever Dragon's Den investment. We've still got that together. We have. <laughs> Well done, guys. <laughs>